Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can get a Game Boy Advanced emulator on your PSP. This works whether your PSP is only homebrew enabled, like using Chicken, or if it has full custom firmware. I know it works on firmware 5.03, uh, and I'm pretty sure it works on basically every other firmware. So the first thing is click on the uh, link in the description for the emulator, and it should bring you to this website. Click there to start your download. I always save the file, I would do that. So click OK and your it should download. It is a WinRAR file and there's a ton of free trials. Just Google it. So open that up and there should just be one folder. If you click on that folder there's a lot more. But if you just highlight that folder and press extract to, I'm gonna go ahead and extract it to the desktop. It doesn't matter where you extract it. Okay, so once that's downloaded, here is your file and this is what actually goes on the PSP now the games for an emulator are called ROM ROMs and you can download them from a lot of websites on the internet um, it's you on only download the ones you have the game for otherwise it's illegal so if you go to the link in the description here's a good website coolrom.com if you go to ROM files um, there's all sorts of emulators you can pick from but we have the Game Boy Advanced so you can browse through it by letters just find a game that you want and once you click on it and wait for this to load once you click on it it should just say your download link will appear in whenever seconds and once it comes up just hit download and download it to your desktop or wherever you want actually but okay so here is my ROM that I downloaded my game Mario and where you put it is if you open up your extracted folder go to GBA and inside ROM you just drag it in there and now you have that game on your so after you do that, you want to connect your PSP to your computer. Okay, let's see. Yeah, and just hit open folders. Okay, now in in your PSP memory stick, you might you might not have all these folders as me, but you should have one that's just capital PSP. Open up that and then you might not have all these folders but there should be one that's capital game open up that and this is where you would drag your folder I already have one in there but you would just drag and drop it And so that's how you get it onto your PSP now you can also put ROM straight from your desktop to to it if you just open it up go to GBA ROM then you can drag them straight from your desktop onto here you don't have to drag it through the other file first. Okay, so once it's on your PSP, you can exit out of USB mode, and it's just in under game on your the main menu in the PSP, and click on memory stick. And it will be there, just click it, click X to start it up. And it's weird, in the emulator, circle is actually the A and X is B. Sometimes, because if, if you hit X, on one of the main menus it'll exit out of it and take you back to your home screen so just remember that circle is A and X is B and you can use the control pad or the analog stick it works either way it's a really good emulator um, leave comments if you have any questions I'll try to help you and leave comments if you find anything wrong or doesn't work on a certain thing to help out other people